So hi friends, uh, this will be an extension to the equilibrium of the porous media of water vapor in the silica gel. So here uh, the same thing you can see the previous video for the equilibrium condition. When it comes to a non-equilibrium condition, so in the porous zone, you need to turn to non-equilibrium. So when you turn to non-equilibrium, two extra terms will come. What is interfacial area density, another is heat transfer coefficient. I will click apply, close as well as a solid region, uh, solid region will also be generated with respect to the fluid region. So how exactly this works? We will just check upon the pin. So now, for example, this is a mesh. I will just divide it into four parts. You can see here, the same region for fluid, continuity, momentum, as well as energy, these three equations will be solved. Similarly, for solid, energy equation will be solved. Right. So this is the uh, solving how it takes place behind the ANSYS fluent for non-equilibrium condition. So in the same region, it will solve a fluid. In the same region, it will solve for solid also. But for in the fluid, we'll have these as source term as I have previously explained. And this is the energy term which actually replaced by this. So in fluid region, what happens exactly? So our heat of adsorption, what I have stated, is not actually for gas region. It is for solid region. So as I've discussed, if this is the silica gel, now if the water vapor comes and adhere onto the silica gel, then that water vapor should be removed from the gas which is going into the silica gel that has been done here. As this comes to this side, it will be negative sign. That is a mass source term what we have taken here. Right? So exactly again the rho, uh, dx by dt, uh, dou, dou x by dou t, which depends on x infinity and x infinity depends on t sat and how the t sat is calculated, everything is explained in the equilibrium condition. Right? So now when the water is being adsorbed, the heat of adsorption will be take place in the silica region, which is actually the solid region. So this is the term which need to be added as an energy source term to the solid region. But as the temperature of the silica or the solid region is increases, maybe it can be Ts, right? Now the Tg, gas temperature will be at low because heat of adsorption is taking place only in silica region, not in the gas region. So as this temperature raises, there can be a heat transfer occurs as the temperature difference. So this temperature difference will lead to the heat transfer, right? And again, that heat transfer depends on the amount of heat absorption and everything. So this is the extra term which you need to add as a source term for gas in the energy. Source term for gas in the energy. In the energy equation, I mean. This is the source term that you need to add for solid region. In the energy equation, in the energy equation, and so the extra terms what we need to add is interfacial area density, which is AV that is given by 16 to 1 minus epsilon T by dp, and epsilon T what we have considered is 0 0.37, right? That is the porosity of the media. Now, for in order to uh, have an interfacial uh, heat transfer coefficient. So obviously there should be an interfacial heat transfer coefficient, right? That is this HGS. So that HGS is calculated with respect to this correlation of Nusselt number. And from the Nusselt number, so of course Nusselt number depends on the Prandtl number and Reynolds number. So Reynolds number is calculated RET and Prandtl number by PR. And for Reynolds number, there should be a velocity term, and dp term. dp is the particle dia. Rho S is the density of solid and mu G is the viscosity of the gas. So this is the Reynolds number what we have considered. And for velocity, we need to take x velocity component whole square plus y velocity component whole square plus z velocity component whole square. And root over all these things will give the velocity. 
right on substituting these things you'll be getting nusselt number nusselt number is nothing but hds dp by kg kg is the density of gas now hgs can be calculated as kg into and new d by dp kg is the conductivity of the gas this is nusselt number okay now so this can be written using the udf and this is again a constant value because dp will not change the particle uh, dia and again these terms will also be calculated using the udf but remember we cannot have a temperature counters as we had for equilibrium condition because the solid temperature will also present in the same cell and the fluid temperature also will present in the same cell but what temperature it will show as the solid or fluid so it will not give a correct value or actual value what you expect instead of that you can have the volume integrals or volume average anything of any respect to quantity you want for temperature present in solid region or for temperature present in gas region or anything the similar fashion you can calculate the volume integrals instead of having a counters because the counter is impossible to have for temperature at least for temperature for solid and uh, fluid at the same cell for for the pressure there will be no pressure for fluid uh, solid so you can have the pressure counters it is feasible to have okay so these are the things which you need to remember and i'll just show you the udf how exact it looks like but this is the udf it is similar to the udf what is for equilibrium condition but here we will try to calculate uh, the values for solid region instead of liquid region so everything uh, the rate and the change in the adsorption of water vapor per kg of silica gel everything is calculated for solid region this calculation for solid region is used with respect to the thread that is linked to solid region which is for what I have considered here right so that you need to take sorry actually it is here one it's not four for solid region it is one so solid domain it is one you will just rename it as one and for liquid domain it is 107 okay you can see here so for liquid domain it is 107 okay so for the pressure see here other point what you need to remember is we are trying to calculate this t sat depending on the pressure present in the cell so this pressure is assumed to be saturation pressure and from that saturation pressure we are trying to calculate the saturation temperature using antoine equation for water vapor so but this pressure will not be coming for solid region it will be coming for fluid region only so we will try to cal calculate the fluid region pressure and we will store it in uh, you, uh, arrays here you can see this is the saturation temperature of the with respect to the pressure present in the fluid cell and you are storing it in array and that array we are trying to use in flow solid domain in order to calculate the rate and also any other variables whatever you want right again that rate is uh, helping us in order to calculate the mass sources what i have exactly mentioned that rate is uh, stored in the user defined memory you can see here and that memory is used to calculate the mass source in the fluid domain or gas region as well as energy source in the gas domain and solid domain this is for gas domain this energy source and this dom uh, this source is for solid domain energy equation right for all these things you need to have the rate and that rate is been calculated using define executed end and you can see that is stored in the user defined memory and you are using and the heat transfer coefficient as i stated it depends on this square root of the velocities of x and y and z and from there you will try to calculate the a uh, reynolds number and brandel number and you will try to substitute in the nusselt number equation and from the nusselt number equation we will try to calculate the heat transfer coefficient and that heat transfer coefficient you will be storing in each cell and that will automatically will be imported as an udf into this so we will try to import the udf what we have uh, 
used save it and just import that function maybe instead of, you just increase the user defined memory location by 6 another value and here uh, obviously you need to select a zone that is only solid zone which you need to select so select solid zone because we are trying to solve for solid and click on apply compile add and we'll just go to uh, the non equilibrium case option so this is not required delete and this build okay and load now go to this so I have calculated AP that is coming around 202720 uh, and the heat transfer coefficient you can drag drop have the heat transfer coefficient that's it and this is the porosity values I have left it default but you can calculate if you have that porosity with respect to the 0.37 mass term also you need to change for the sorry in the silica gel you need to change the mass term also And go to initialization and initialize with random values I mean, the so as it is the demonstration purpose I'll just stop here after 15 time step it's only for uh, in order to show how exactly the counters and uh, volume integrals what exactly indicate okay so now if you go and check the counters maybe the plane the scalars will be okay but if you check about temperature you will see a blur kind of thing so this is fluid media as well as solid media that's the reason why you cannot see a clear uh, differentiation between both and you see temperature has been increased but this temperature is for solid that you can clearly visualize in the reports go to volume integrals select volume average go to temperature and select silica gel so you see the temperature has increased to 88 but when compared to the fluid in the same silica gel sits to 286 because that is also the temperature raised due to the heat transfer between solid and the fluid as I have explained in this thing so you can see uh, the heat transfer how it has differentiated between the interfacial heat transfer coefficient so this due to this heat transfer coefficient it flows the heat flows and that energy source sum that is added due to the temperature is this one okay and what else if you want to check the pressure pressure you will be getting a nice counter you can just visualize that pressure if you select the plane you will be getting a, a problem or no problem counter or a perfect counter because we are trying to solve only one region in the silica gel that is a porous media the fluid region because solid region will not have any pressure okay so I hope this video helped in differentiating between equilibrium and non-equilibrium for a porous media adsorption of water vapor. Uh, in that respect, any gas onto the porous media. Okay. So please do subscribe and if any doubts, you can have uh, my mail ID in the description. You can contact. Thank you.